motivation speech so serious that you're probably the guy who had nothing on but boxers underneath his gown. That is so insulting. If you must know, I was naked underneath. Oh, I'm sorry. I stand corrected. So how is the father of the graduate taking it? I already have a plan to drown my sorrows. After the ceremony, my mother goes off to the Hamptons. Alexis will be doing her all-nighter. I will be distracting myself with a double feature of The Killer and Hard Boiled. Wow, that is a double feature. You like John Wood? The bloodier, the better. You wouldn't want to join me, would you? Actually, I'd love to. You coming, Castle? Yeah. Let's... Hey. So? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should not have gone on that date. I, I, sh I should have said no. Then why didn't you? Well, I'm no good at this. Pretending to be single? Yeah, Castle, neither am I. And the last thing I want to do is have to worry about you with other women. Well, uh, for the record, I, I wasn't going to sleep with her. I know. Look, that's not even the point. The point is, is I don't even know how to do this. Do you remember when Miles said that it's inevitable that this will fall apart? That it's destined to implode? Look, just a reminder, Miles is a lying killer. Okay, maybe people find out, and maybe we won't get to work together, and maybe we'll implode, or maybe we'll continue to be amazing. Point is, we don't have the answers. We just have to live with the questions and find our way. Okay, can... Well, can we just start here, then? Can we say that we will talk about dating other people, but we won't actually date other people? Yeah, I can, no, I can do that. Okay, good. Because I have a gun, and you don't really have a choice. Clearly, I don't have a choice. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, Castle, I didn't mean you to... You didn't mean to what? Christmas means something different to me than it does to you. It's Christmas. I mean, how can it be different? <sighs> Castle, every winter, as soon as that chill rolls in, I'm right back there in that alley. January 9th, and we still haven't taken our Christmas decorations down. And by the time my dad and I did it, it was like we were putting Christmas away forever. We haven't opened those boxes since. I didn't know. That's why every year my dad goes up to his cabin. And ever since I became a rookie, I have taken the Christmas shift. Because I know that there are families out there that are celebrating together in their homes and I am keeping watch. And that is my tradition. And that is important to me. It's as important as your tradition is to you. And I'm sorry, Castle. I thought I could let that go, but I... I understand. Well, I don't say this often, but I'm sorry. Sorry I got you into trouble. Sorry I lost my mind. You know what, Castle? It's okay. Your overactive imagination has actually brought a lot of people to justice. In fact, it's one of the things that I love about you. Wow. And... Wow. Happy birthday to me. If that's my present, I can't wait to unwrap it. Later. Right now, let's just forget about the murder. Go to dinner. Celebrate your life. Come back and celebrate some more. Sounds perfect. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept secrets. That's who you are. You don't let people in. I've had to scratch and claw for every inch. Castle. Please let me finish. I've been doing a lot of thinking about us, about our relationship, what we have, where we're headed. I've decided I want more. You both deserve more. I agree. So whatever happens, whatever you decide, Catherine Houghton Beckett, will you marry me?